Have you ever wondered how those flawless wedding sculpted and novelty cakes were made? And you wonder how in the world did they come up with these amazing designs? In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly cover a round cake in fondant. Welcome to Sweet Admira. This is Kansi here with Sweet Admira. Sweet Admira is where we provide our clients with custom made cakes and desserts from scratch. If you're new here, welcome and consider subscribing to my channel. And do not forget to turn on the notification button so that you know when I put out any new content. So today I'll show you the basics of how to cover your cake in fondant. First thing first, you want to knead your fondant until it's applicable and make sure to use fresh fondant. So how do you know the amount of fondant to roll out for your cake? Now this is the time to do some measurements. For me, the cake that I'm covering today is 8 by 6, which is 8 inches in diameter plus the height of the cake on both sides, which is 6 so plus another six making 12 plus the eight inches in diameter equal to 20. so i'm gonna be rolling out 20 inches of fondant to properly cover my cake and make sure to roll to an even thickness I'll be rolling to about an eighth of an inch thickness to enable me cover my cake without it tearing on me. Now I'm working on a chilled cake. Remember that if your cake is too dry, you can go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of water to help to stick your fondant. Now, the first thing I want to do after I have placed my fondant on my cake is to make sure I'm running my palm on the surface of the cake on, on top, just like what I'm doing, to make sure the fondant is stuck to the cake so that when I start pulling downwards to smooth out the fondant on the cake, it's not going to pull away or it's not gonna rip off on me now what you want to do is as you stretch out the fondant you want to smooth it out with your pen to create a smooth finish
just keep doing this until you are able to create a smooth finish all around the cake. You want to cut off any excess fondant. So now you can place your fondant on a turntable so that you are able to create that very smooth finish you are actually going for. So if you're learning something here make sure to give this video a like give this video a big thumbs up Now, this brings me to the end of this video, and I'll see y'all on the other side. Thanks, and God bless.